Yo, the what it is. We back with it. Content Z. Goddamn, do one, do podcast. Hey. Y'all see what's going hey, on? Y'all see what's going on now. Y'all, y'all see, see what type on? of shit we doing? Hey. So this one kind of special to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm a hooper for real. Like a hooper hooper. And bro was that for real. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say was. Is. Is. Because I'm pretty sure you can still get out there. He can give you 15 to 19 right now. I just know it can. Right. Nah, but you, you, hey. Hey, when you get older, you get smarter. You did? Hey, man, we got D Miles. We got Knucklehead. Hey, and not only was he an NBA legend, and I'm going to say NBA legend because they created culture. That's why I'm going to say a legend means something different to me. Like, AI, even though he don't got a ring, is a legend. You know why? Because he created culture. You see what I'm saying? He changed shit in the game. Right, right, and right. And they on the media side with the knuckleheads, him and Kareem. Right. Rich. You that know what I'm saying? Career. We appreciate you for spinning, bro. Appreciate y'all for having me, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sure. Hey, so how's it been? We know y'all in the O. How's it been since you transitioned to the NBA, to the to the social media? We in content, Z. So this all about content right now. How has that been for y'all? I know I watch damn near all y'all episodes. So how has it been like even getting into that space? Because you know it's different from being an athlete and then going into right. like they treat they treat niggas different in that media space. You did? Yeah, I, uh, I wasn't feeling it at first. Uh, cameras and microphones make me nervous. It give me like anxiety. And uh, I used to see this meme all the time. They used to tell that used to say. To take another step up in life, you gotta do something that makes you uncomfortable. Cameras and microphones used to make me uncomfortable. And I took a chance on it and it made me step up another level in life. Right, so right, right. That's and getting into the space it definitely was a blessing. You see everybody doing podcasts now and all that. So I'm just glad to be another do something to be another influence to everybody right. to get involved because we all can do this, you know? Definitely. You can tell it from the horse's mouth instead of ESPN or the news telling you what something right, about Right, right. You can you know be unfiltered. That? You can tell it how you want. Right. Give yourself a platform. So, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. You you did something most people couldn't even yeah, do. Yeah, don't I even them for real. I got a bunch of homeboy. We all almost made it, man. All of us. Right? You did that, and you did it in a big way, bro. Like, how does that feel, like, just having that on your resume, bro. Right. I know that shit a business because I played overseas and shit. And you know, you see how political that shit is. Right. And, and you did it at an even higher level, bro. Like, to have that even on your resume, bro. Like, how does that feel, dog? Like, just as a nigga. Like, right. as a, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Out of high school. Like, it's only a handful of right. people who did it like that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and just being a nigga. We on some real nigga shit, bro. Like, just being a nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, how that feel, bro? Oh, it feels great. Uh, it's a blessing. I just love, I love how people like the way I play ball. You know what I'm saying? They admire how I play ball, and it's not just from the hood transfer because right. I knew the people in the hood love the way I rock. But to go all the way corporate and they like the way I rock, I feel like I'm like the prototype, a six nine guy that can dribble, that can shoot, that kind of can do everything. And now you see all these guys that's in the league, the same six type nine. Of- and shoot. Well, I couldn't shoot. I couldn't throw a rock in the ocean. But you see these guys, and I feel like I was the more prototype body of what they was looking for in the league. Yeah, nah, that definitely was the era of like big niggas starting to stretch. Right. Because like, even when I was in high school, he was already in the league. But we had already started. Like I'm six five, six five and a half. Well, being agile, they were trying to put me at, nah, bro. I was going up and down the court, and then Omar, Omari played with me my my junior year. So that's what we was doing. We was taking the ball up and down the court, and he was 6'9". Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But that come from watching, like, seeing the game start changing, and now everybody, bro, a guard, nigga, whereas they would have put me as a big man in my era right now, that's a guard. My yeah, son's 6'5". He's a guard. Off the dribble. Like, you ain't going to do nothing down there, nigga. But you had to be able to adapt, because in high school, I played center. Yeah. But when I got to the league, I played small four. So I wasn't even on the block. Right. When I, right. I yeah, yeah. No, so if you couldn't play all positions, and that's what I was. Like when I played AAU ball with D Wade, I ran point guard. Right. Then when I played in high school, I was the center. Then when I played in the pro am and stuff, I'm playing small right. forward. Right. So you had to adapt yeah, to right. every situation. But right. you know right. what a high school shit is? It's because like most of us is like 
and that's not normal for to be that right, high. Yeah, yeah. So we probably the biggest people. I know you was. You know what I'm saying? And I know like I may have had one person bigger than me, and he definitely played center. But I told them niggas like my dad played for UCF, and he told me like, bro, don't let him put you, don't let him put you here, cause when you get to college, bro, you better have some skill. The biggest thing is to know how to dribble. Yeah. yeah. Right know how to dribble. I knew how to dribble and I learned how to dribble even better. I used to roller skate. I used to have them full skates, used to roller and skate. Dri and dribble while you roller skate. While I'm roller yeah, you skate. roll, you different. So it made my dribbling even better. It's like so I was a six nine dude. But you know when you when you a big man back in the day they'd be like, hey man, get under the goal. Yeah. Or run under the goal. So I knew like in pick up ball and stuff for me to get the ball I had to learn how to dribble. So I learned how to dribble and that me learning how to dribble took me separated to you, yeah, stuff. for you know sure, for sure. That's how I can do the coast to coast and uh, all the other stuff yeah, that yeah. I was doing, and I can play every position because I learned how to dribble. So, so you know. before you get out of here, bro, we gonna have to ask you, bro. You already know what's coming. I need the top five, bro. Top five ever? All time. Top five. Your top five. I don't even. Yo, 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 top five. Cause that's how I feel like the city is. Anyway, niggas like to separate it and shit, but it's right. ever whoever you like. It's all opinion. Your you know top what I'm five. I, my favorite five ever, man, it's Kobe, George, KG, Shaq, Durant, LeBron. That's an interesting one. I wouldn't have called Why? it. Why is it interesting? That's in, I wouldn't have called it. But I'm saying, why though? You thought he was going to say Jordan first. Huh? You thought he was going to say Jordan no, first? No, I wasn't expecting Shaq. I ain't going to lie. You weren't expecting Shaq? Uh, all for nine five, I wasn't the top five, I wasn't expecting. Shaq in my top real. five, nigga, the most real. dominant George big man George ever. Is my, my number one ever. <laughs> That's my number one yeah. ever. But Kobe Jordan. KG, and I want to say KG, yeah, KG. I, KG. I, I can see it, it's though. The reason I wore 21. Right. Shaq and Durant LeBron. Okay. Uh, either or. Right. On any given day, you know. Right. Some days I want Durant, some days I want LeBron. Right. So. I'm okay. a LeBron fan, so LeBron my number one. Yeah, I got and then I ain't mad. Who you say? If you say Jordan, LeBron, hey, I ain't mad at you. Uh, I just feel like as a player, that nigga could do everything, like just everything, like whatever you want him to do. And then I feel like he played in an era where you get cr criticized the most. Jordan was Jordan. I know I'm not saying Jordan's great because we all looked at, we all watched Jordan. But I wasn't no, I'm from Florida, bro. I wasn't no Jordan fan like that. We was Miami Heat, New York, uh, Vince Carter because he was from, you know, right, right. up the street. Right. Tracy McGrady. Right. Was there for accolades or, or the game? No, I, I like I was, his game. Because I was going to add these. So why wouldn't you put LeBron on Right, there? why wouldn't you? But I feel like Jordan is the best player mentality. Why wouldn't you put LeBron in this like Right. LeBron, how you do how you do Durant LeBron? But see to me, to me, because you can't I, get the accolades without it. I know it's political. And small forward, I love what LeBron do. He he's an all-around player, he do a lot. And that small forward, I love what Durant do. <laughs> so it's like ah. it's a it's a, a night and day with me with LeBron and, and Durant. You know but I ain't gonna lie to you. We seen Brian get it done, bro. Durant be like, I just want to hoop. Hey. So if you talking like that type of shit, like or like if we playing at the Rucker, bro, this is the, take your pick, nigga. For the last the thirty, this guy's the accolades that's not better. Than no, that's a, that's, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. But Brian is, is he yeah, good? Hey, so. look, we not about to do this barbershop argument. Nigga. No, but he, no, 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 no. It's not an argument. Right. I'm a legit LeBron fan. I like LeBron. Right. I love what he's doing. I love what he is to the game. Definitely. I, I like LeBron. I love what he's doing. I love what he is to the game. But I just like basketball. And right. I like all right, 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 style. Right. right. Like, I, like back in the day when I was younger, I used to watch all the Wu Tang and all the karate. Right, 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 right. So I like all the different styles of of, 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 of fight. So with basketball, it's the same way. I like the style. Like Kobe and Jordan. They like the style that can never be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? But then you got LeBron, you got Durant, you got Larry Bird, you got Shaq, you got Lajuan, you got KG Duncan, you got so many yeah, yeah. styles 
that you just pick your view. It's just what I like, what I what I rock with. And that would hey, that's why I love basketball, bro, because it's it's, it's a pin like whatever yeah, gets you like. It's so many people you can like. That's why I really don't even like the debate sometimes because right, it's, bro, all these Dude, niggas is fire, bro. The 15th job. man on the bench to come out and whip any nigga ass in here, bro. Right, right, that's a fact. No that's cap. a fact. You know what I'm saying? You know, the casual fan to talk about the 15th man, but the 15th man playing any other league man, outside what? the NBA, he'll be the best player. All right. For sure. Hey That's man, we appreciate you. Shout out your media handle. Let it, let them know when the knucklehead airs every week. All of that type of shit. Bro. Yeah, we've been on a hiatus for the last two months. Uh, contract negotiations, you know how it is. Hey, to get to the but Monday. but we we back with Players Tribune and uh in April, man, you will see a lot of fire from us. So we'll be back on the market. Hopefully y'all check it out. Knuckleheads podcast with me and my co-host Q Richards. And uh, shout out to y'all. Appreciate it, man. We definitely appreciate you for spending, man. Hey, for y'all sure. look alive. Y'all know what's going on. Do we want to do podcast? Content Z 2024. Hey, man, we're doing it like that. Stay you tuned. Did. No, go ahead.